<laughs> Greetings, ghouls, and welcome to another edition of Monster Party. Monster, Monster Party. Monster Party. Party. <laughs> Monster Party. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> Just get to it. We're going to get to it. Yes, because it's a very exciting day. It is a very, very exciting day. Um, first of all, let me introduce myself. I am Matt Weinhold. I am Sean Sheridan. I'm Larry Strove. And I'm James Gonis. And we have a very, very special topic with a very special guest. It's a very sexy topic with a very <laughs> sexy guest. Bingo. Mm-hmm. And that topic is sex and horror. Mm. <laughs> they, go, they go hand in hand, kind of. Yes, they do. Mm-hmm. And to lead us into this world, or to accompany us on this journey, we have the lovely, the talented, a legend. Legend. Jewel Shepherd. Jewel yeah. Shepherd! So is this the part I take off my clothes? <laughs> yeah, I sure it can be. So. <laughs> sure. Wow. Oh my gosh. Boy. Yeah. It's getting hot in here. It's a good we will, way to start the show. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we will find cameras. We'll make this happen. Good, good. Yeah. Good. I like cameras. Thanks for being with us, Jewel. Oh, yes. It's thank a- you. You guys are hot. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the first time that's ever been said on the show. You know, it's never been said to me. I'm really excited right now. Oh, God. I love this table. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, God. I love the cords. I, did yeah. I ever tell you I'm I, I don't love know, cords? I don't know if we're going to get much. We're not going to get through this because we're all like, perspiring. Our profusely. table just came. So. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God, coasters. <laughs> coasters are really good for, like, you know, around your titties. Oh. Yeah. You know, what are they called? Pasties. Coasters yeah, are pasties. That's it. <laughs> oh, my God. We did invest in uh, Look at this. titty coasters. So, yeah. Titty coasters. <laughs> no, a pasty coaster. Oh, my God. That's so exciting. I'm so, oh, I'm wow. so excited. I, that is my now. My nipples are hard. And the fact that that touched your nipple, sort of. <laughs> Yeah. Now it's now I'm gonna have to put in my lot. Wasn't already the show. That's put actually, it upstairs that's, that's, that's in my gonna, collection. That's actually gonna go on eBay. I'm eBay. sure. No, no, no. I know. I'll sick. sign the titty coaster. Oh shit! Perfect. Oh, shit. Sex and horror. Sex and horror. It's happening right now. Sex and horror. There are yeah. a lot of. You know, it's funny as if you go as far back as you know in, in the twenties. You know, with some of the they had sex in the twenties. Yes, I don't did. believe that. But in the in the movies, there were some like titillating stuff. Sure. In the twenties. And going into the 30s and the 40s. How, why did we just we just skip the 20s? Uh, we're already <laughs> we're on now already in the 30s. Let's stay I, in the 20s. What did they do in the 20s? Well, there's a film called The Cabinet of Dr. Caligari. Oh, where mm, it, it's, daddy? Yeah, and there are some sexy scenes in The Cabinet of Dr. Describe Caligari. them slowly. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, do they involve coasters? They they actually don't, but they do have to deal with a a man who is. Been asleep for a long time. Not and sexy. <laughs> who has kidnaps? Playing a, it real cool. Kidnaps a, 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 an attractive lady. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's getting better. It's getting better. Yeah, and um, there's a little. Uh, I'm not gonna say hot and heavy action, but when I saw it, it no kind bottles, of turned no me on. No, 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 no. It's not. Okay. It's not, okay. not, not okay. that. Okay, much. But for, just, for the you know, time, said though. Sex in the yeah, 20s. Well, there was bottles with sex. you know somebody. There is early and Vir- Virginia rap. Virginia rap. Virginia rap. Yeah, Fatty Arbuckle. Oh, that's oh, right. Notorious. Oh, yeah. Notorious scandal. Had oh, wow. Sex oh, and oh, horror. Right. Yeah, that, <laughs> very, yeah, that is. Absolutely. Now, wasn't he cleared? He was cleared. He was. Though, yeah. Well, he, he was, he was officially cleared. She, she died. Quit. That's Can right. You believe it. That actually ended his career, didn't it? I that whole thing. So. I believe so. Well, yeah. you know, you put a bottle up a vagina. What do you expect? Well, yeah. he was acquitted. No, no, no. My understanding is the man was acquitted. He wasn't even there. He might yeah. have been completely innocent, but still, the public opinion yeah. was already yeah, 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 his, his yeah. image was tarred yeah. from the whole yeah. thing. Yeah, right? Randolph you, Hearst. You, you go see a, the person. a two-reeler, no. and you look at the guy on screen, and you think, bottle and vagina. <laughs> That's you, what I done. think. I think, yeah. I think that, and I would add in a little Coke. <laughs> <laughs> Those were good times. Yeah, they really good were. Times. The 20s. Oh, yeah. Sex and horror. Sex back and horror. Back to sex and horror. You know what, Larry? I would go back even further. You know, than... Mary Miles Minter, she had... Well, you know what happened with that, right? Please oh enlighten, us. enlighten us. Well, 
William Desmond. Go Google him. William Desmond. God damn it. <laughs> William Desmond. So I'm losing my train of thought here. William Desmond was one of her directors, and Mary, Mary Miles Minter was this young 16 year old girl who did like 150 um, movies that went ahead and she killed her director. Please look this up so we can move past this because I just lost my train of we'll thought. We'll start fresh. Oh, no, we'll okay. start this fresh. We can be fresher. Yeah. Yes, and I can be more drunk, so. <laughs> we have Desmond Taylor. Yes, thank oh. you. And anytime you need a refill, I'm your man. <laughs> oh, okay. Stage uh, actor. And Mary Miles Minter uh, killed him? I sure hope so. Yeah, she was a hot chick. I mean, she was like the, the Mary Pickford of, the, of the, the 20s of that, you know, when Mary Pickford was like now marrying... Uh, Douglas Fairbanks? D- yeah. So then she was the new Mary Pickford. And so then she goes and kills her director because supposedly she did not get any uh, love from him. And while he, of course, was seeing uh, Mabel Norman. So she Ooh. inserted a Coke bottle? No, she got a gun and she shot the guy. Oh, yeah, this guy directed and Mabel Norman. Silent was, movie uh, versions of, um, of Davy Crockett, Tom Sawyer. Yeah, fame, she was an fame. abused child. I mean, she was, uh, you know, she was worked to death because she was making whatever it was, like four hundred thousand dollars a movie kind of thing, and her mother was taking it all. And she, her, that's how it was back then. You didn't pay taxes. Nineteen twenty-two, he was murdered, and it remains kind of a mystery. Right. To this well, they day. all believe that. Well, I believe me, Jewel Shepherd, horror girl of Eternal Living Dead, believes that her mother went over to Desmond Taylor's house and put a slug into his body. But you know, and blamed his her daughter, her oh, you know right. on oh because she was only sixteen. Mm. I mean, that's you know that's what Hollywood was. It just wasn't horror. I mean, that was horror. <laughs> that's horror in the real sense. Oh yeah, that's real life behind yeah, the scenes. Yeah. Nos, nos photo, nos nos yeah. Nos Ferrato. Okay, see. It's a long day and lots Nose of No photo is a, <laughs> is a photo place in Culver City. Yeah. And Jules really enjoying her tequila. Yes. We have, and we all are. That's what the monster party is all about. That's right. That's right. Mm-hmm. Now, looking, well, looking I, mean, I just wanted to, uh, as far back as we go in movies, I also want to go further back into literature because there's been a long, I mean, back when Dracula was first written by Bram Stoker, it was almost like a reaction to uh, Victorian mores. Almost like uh, vampirism and uh, you know the seduction of young maidens to behave these like in- taboo subjects. Yeah, right. <clears throat> very very powerful stuff. And then you know once Hollywood started making movies about it, then it, it sort of regenerated. Yeah, Jekyll really, and Hyde. Jekyll and Hyde. Same thing. Yeah. You know the darker nature of the civilized man. You know, and always what, involved a naked girl being chained up to some wall. Well, of course, somehow, oh, right? It's hot. God, <laughs> where are the whips? <laughs> uh, follow me. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, the tequila. <laughs> awesome. Well, Jewel, Let's, yes. I, I wanna, I'm I wanna, rubbing my breasts against your mic. I hope you don't mind. Lucky just Mike. <sighs> the rest the mics enjoy it too. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So big. So I want to. What do you tell tell us a little bit about? We're we're big fans of Return of the Living Dead, and I just want me too. <laughs> I, mean, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, at the time, and uh, do you guys know when you're making it? You know. Was, is it going to be something that still had this kind of life to it? Oh, yes. We knew at the time of making it, it was going to have a very big life. We knew that. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, it was, it was, it was just a another, job. It was, it was a, a job, scale right? job. What, it was right. a scale actor job. I was lucky to freaking get it. And I wasn't the naked chick. <laughs> you weren't the, you yeah. weren't the naked chick. No, I oh. wasn't. I was the party chick. Right, and so right. I'm still yeah. carrying it. I'm giving it a natural <laughs> life. I'm still drinking. And you, were, and you were like the strong badass in that movie, too. Okay. Do I need to do I need, <laughs> do I need to screen the film? Yeah, you were star. You were the one who was like kind of uh, you were kind of tough when you're when yeah, the shit hit the fan. Yeah, when the shit dude, hit the fan, you're dude, running into the you're other. You're running from zombies that run after you. They don't walk; they run. You have to run in the rain. Nobody's a badass with a well, zombie that runs. Considering, considering, yeah. considering no, that I was considering the fact that I wasn't naked. Awesome! <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit! And the best part is like, um, were these the couple that the couple, the army couple, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and you saw in those two scenes like how they live their life. I mean, you know what? Can I get you lunch? No, I already had lunch today. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I'm so bad with the lines, so that's not accurate of what those lines were. But you saw a, a whole fans section. will email. Yes, I'm sure they will. Yeah. Believe me, I'm sure they will. And fuck. <laughs> 
up and die. <laughs> but these two, that that scene shows a married couple that is not very happy, and that was in two scenes. I mean, to me, that was like one of the best parts of the movie. I agree. Yeah, right, right. Right. I love that. Yeah. <clears throat> that and the you know eating brains. Right, of course. <laughs> well, there so, is that. Yes. When you were shooting it, did you did you at least have an awareness that this was something special? Yeah, you'd been in a lot of movies, but was this different? <laughs> I had an awareness that my check was going to be cashed. <laughs> That's there special. Nothing, there was nothing unique about this project? No? No, no. dude. There was zombies. I mean, that was the unique thing. I was finally in a zombie movie and not in a hot tub. Okay. You know, <laughs> so I'm going to be eaten by old men. At least it's zombies, you know? But do you think that this, this was the one that uh, I was going to be most known for my tits were the most known for a thing <laughs> in Hollywood hot tubs they bounced they were like you know bouncing around the screen blah, 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 you know okay. you know so like my tits weren't bouncing around a graveyard so as far as I was concerned I was just lucky I got a check with my freaking top on cool you know because my selling point wasn't being offered but now you were saying a little bit before earlier when we were not doing the podcast how the director was kind of like you, you had a little more rehearsal time than usual for, for us. Weeks. Can you talk about that a little bit? Yeah, we had two weeks of rehearsal. So in movie life, that's like, doesn't it ages, happen? Right? Well, it doesn't ever happen. And maybe if you're lucky enough, it happens with, say, a Tom Cruise movie. But it certainly doesn't happen with zombies. And, you know, we had two weeks of rehearsal to where Dan O'Bannon, God bless his soul, who also wrote Alien, Blue Thunder. Right. Uh, oh, yeah. Right, yeah. I love him. The Dark Star and on mm-hmm. and on and on. A genius that he was. Um, he had us all rehearse these characters that he had firmly believed in his head. This is who we were going to be. And so he would pick out from different casting sessions the people that he felt gave him what he needed so there was groups of us in this very long casting process of like i think it was a year and he would have different groups and so miguel would be in one miguel who played spider would be in one group and then uh he would see how that his personality would interact with others and then he would then put Miguel in with the group that John Philbin and I, who played my boyfriend, were in, and he liked how that chemistry worked. So that's how it came down. I mean, you don't have that kind of luxury luxury anymore. today. You don't have no no actor would sit there and really actually do that. I don't even know if an agent will allow that to happen anymore. But you know, we all didn't have the agents of that time period, so we we're just trying to get the job. <clears throat> right. You know, it was a again a paycheck. Right. But you did end up sort of building these relationships with these people that it's kind that of, kind of comes that, across on screen. Yeah. That, uh, and it, and for better or worse, it's like you, you kind of still have relationships with these people that are kind of similar to that now, right? Yeah. Well, we still go out to dinner. I mean, we hang out for the last 30 years. I, I know their stories intimately as they do mine, but I think it was because Dan absolutely had a vision and he just waited till he found those people to come to fill that vision. So that is what it was. I mean, it's a chemistry of people together, and he was wise enough to be able to sit there and see that this chemistry was working. But you just don't get that anymore. No, right, right. There's no time. No, there's, there's no time. It's yeah, thrown together, yeah, and yeah, it's just like... Money. Right, right. And if that sort of thing is going to happen, it's going to happen on an independent level. Yeah, a reality show. Or a, or a Woody yeah, right. Allen film. Or, <laughs> yes, like interiors. Yeah. Did you ever see the sexy horror film interiors? <laughs> <laughs> No, but did you ever see Woody Allen molest or not molest his daughter? Did oh, oh, oh let's, boy. Wait, let's not I'm go there. I saw that. <laughs> let's not go. No, t- tonight's <laughs> theme is sex <laughs> and horror. Yeah. Well, you We're said getting too sex much and horror. We're, we, well, I'd rather talk about... <laughs> We're getting into two... Like, you don't hammer, like sex, hammer, horror, horror, and comedy? <laughs> no, not, not that comedy. I, I think we want to stick to... The ones that are on the silver screen, so uh, <laughs> such as such. Would like, you a silver spoon in their mouth? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I like like the brides of Dracula, right? Or or, or, or classic. Can't, well, now are you a you, fan of it? Like when it comes to horror films and all that kind of stuff in like, general? Yeah, I mean you were you were in a very uh, you know, iconic. You know film. history and film pretty well. Yeah. I mean, is there a particular genre that you do? You like any of this stuff that much? Or yeah, I like Doris Wishman's Nude on the Moon. Ah, oh. Doris Wishman. We knew <laughs> Doris Wishman. I like. Yeah, I, I like that. I'm I mean, I like those kinds of things. I, yeah, no, I, I don't watch much stuff. I actually read Anne Rand. Wow. There you go. There you go. We're we're familiar around here. <laughs> We've uh, 
And Talk about the sexiest horror novel written. <laughs> Atlas Shrugged. Come on. <laughs> right? And, and ha- did you know it was just recently shot, like two years ago? Yes, I do. And it was absolutely horrible. <laughs> oh, yeah. Heard, and then there's yeah. a sequel, too. Yes. yes. Well, they shot it on the same... They shot it for, like, eight weeks. My friend Grant Bowler... Sorry, Grant. Um, <laughs> <laughs> played one of the leads, and, uh, you know... It, yeah, you know, okay. it, it's hard to make any novel really... Great from the but book, it's Anne but, Rand. but it's Anne like, Rand, <laughs> it's a million pages. Yeah, that's yeah. a little tough. Yeah. I think that Rush did a better job with the album Twenty One Twelve. Wow, which, <laughs> is that music? Yeah, that's the the sort of art art rock band Rush. Uh, mm-hmm. I, I yeah. like. I only know Bobby Boo, Blue Band. What's Bl- Blue Bland? Blue Blue Bland. Blue, Blue Bland because I'm drinking tequila. <laughs> <laughs> no, and you, you guys are not rhythm and blues people, gospel people. I go the a little Swan Silver Tones. Oh my God! Yeah. I go a little more metal. I go uh, metal. Yeah, like little punk, I was in a video. Metal. Sorry, Jewel, it's the wrong crowd. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> they listen to soundtracks. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Oh. The Bee Gees. Oh. Bee Gees. Hey, you know what? No, not that I just, kind of I just soundtrack. Want say, I just want to say something. Saturday, the Saturday Night Fever. That soundtrack was huge. Yeah, okay. it, was huge. it was huge. It was huge. And that's Larry, great... were you a fan? I, mean, I was a fan. I was so you disappointed was... to find out Travolta was actually gay. No. Well, you know, again, you know, again. <laughs> now we're talking sex and horror. I think we're. I think we're Speculating here, no, but he again, drives a freaking <laughs> pink. I, I, he drives a freaking pink car. Yeah, I've seen him on San Vicente. It's a pink car. You know, Donald Trump wears a pink shirt and a pink tie sometimes, but you know, yeah. that John says, Travolta drives a pink car with a cute dude in it. He drives a cock float. Okay. <laughs> All I'm saying There's is so many signs that we're ignoring. Talk about sex horror. Sex and horror. <laughs> and that is sex, sex and, and horror. horror. Right, right My there. God. Yeah. You Sometimes know? the sex and horror is right where you least expect it. <laughs> <laughs> You're looking for it in hammer horror films. Yeah. And, and, yeah. Yes, and, 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 and classic uh, uh, in, <laughs> indie films like in Basket Case, in the film Basket now, do you, Case. Are you familiar, are you familiar with, Joel, with the film Basket Case? <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna take that as a no. No, but All you know, right. I went to this garage once, and I met this guy called the Herschel Gordon Lewis. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Know them well. Hey, hey, yeah. We know, we know hey. Herschel. Well, Blood he, Feast, Two Thousand Maniacs. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he he was. I was in his garage. I didn't know. Okay. You know, he was nobody. Did you just I, wander in, or did yeah, you? He was, he was having a yard <laughs> okay. sale. Oh, oh. 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 I missed that. <laughs> Where were we? And, yeah. And, uh, you know, he had these these movies. He was telling how he made these movies, and and he was showing you know very proudly and holding up the film and i said it looked like shit <laughs> and, <laughs> what uh, you know i think it was can't be the same movies blood Co- red. Color, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. yeah it was absolutely freaking horrible and and <laughs> <laughs> he told me it was a classic and i said why and he goes because i shot it in my garage well, that's true but it was not only that it was he was making gore films before anybody knew. That's about. what he would yeah. sit there and tell me how yeah. I had no appreciation for any of that. And I'm time. sitting there going, my God, I love Dinah Washington. <laughs> and there would like be this like drop silence kind yeah. of thing. Someone would turn on a phonograph and then skip a record. Right, exactly. <laughs> so, you know, yeah. I didn't know who he was. And then as time went on, he just liked me. And, and you know, he would show me his movies. And there's this guy named Mike Vrainy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, something yeah. weird video. Something weird yeah. video. Yeah. Right. And he would, yeah. He, he bought some rights to Her- Herschel's right, movies sure, right. and he put them on VHS and and that something other weird thing. kind of helped champion a lot yeah, of his stuff. Beta, right, yeah, Beta Max mm-hmm. thing, and he would and Mike would sit there and go, "Julie, you have to watch this. this; is really great." And I would watch and I would say the same thing I saw and said to Herschel. It's like, man, this is a piece of shit movie. <laughs> yeah, you know why are you actually you actually are able to sell this thing for twenty nine ninety five? Oh my God, can I be in your magazine? So he actually put my fan club in his in his his little something nice. with video. Really? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, it was just crazy. But I, you know, a Dave Friedman, all those freaking, right, right. All those yeah, guys. I was in that Revolting Cox video with Dave Friedman and Ed um, Chainsaw Massacre. Ed, uh, uh, Neil. Ed Neil. Ed yeah. Neil. Yeah. Ed Neil. Ed Neil. Ed Ed Neil. Ed, and yeah. Linnea Quigley right. and and Al Jorgensen. We did a video called "Do You Think I'm Sexy in Texas?" <laughs> <laughs> you know, the remake of the Rod Stewart kind of thing, only right. in a very twisted with the, with the horror yeah, chainsaw and a, theme. And Dave Friedman was the carnival kind of guy, and Dave would tell me about all these things about movies and I you know they were just bad and you suck but but they were the hucksters and they were the ones that they sold all that stuff they yeah the stuff they that they peddled may have been shit but they 
made money off of it. They knew, they knew how to sell. They knew how to sell. They knew how to like yeah. titillate. Well, that's why he was hired as the Barker person in that right. video right. because totally. he, that's who he was as a person. And he would right. sit there and he would tell us stories about how he took these people. And, and there's so many others I cannot remember their names um, because their movies are shit. <laughs> you know? And, uh, it was all showbiz. Yeah. Was all the, he was like the uh, Tom Thumb. What's that? Uh, Carnival? Barnum? Barnum. Bar- yeah, Barnum, Barnum Bailey. Barnum. Yeah. Barnum. He was literally a, a guy who sat in the stand and, and, and drew right. people into the so, see the freak show and stuff right. like that. And right. And he had this whole thing. I mean, they would put on all these little shows in San Francisco or around here in the the old Sunset Strip clubs, and and they were like projections on the walls while, while Blowfly did his garage, you know, bad worded songs of classics like Blueberry Hill. You know, blow, <laughs> I know like, Blowfly. Like, yeah, the yeah, yeah. Blowfly. Yeah. Like, he was one of, he was Fuck a, Around the Clock. Yeah, he was a pioneering right, right. Like sort of twist uh, the... risque rapper. Right, right. right. So he would be dressed yeah. up as the Blowfly character he was on this gold lame kind of thing singing <laughs> Fuck Around the Clock and on the walls would be showing, you know, all these crazy movies. Herschel Gordon Lewis uh, stuff. Hors- Hors- yeah. Girl, and <laughs> Gordon Lewis stuff and you'd sit there and go, man, why is this all working? Because it really <laughs> Is shitty and everything was shitty, but it was kind of cool. Well, right, that, right. and that's and that is that kind of sums up Herschel Gordon Lewis, which is like watching them at the time. They must have been so shocking that there was that kind of thrill. Yeah. But I watch them now, and there's a strange, this oversaturated kind of yeah. color. Yeah. And yeah. There's the, a, the it's fact a weird that it's look to them. Pioneering gore effects and the the red of the blood the is like it looks, yes. it looks ridiculous. And it's this now. sort of tradition of uh, Grand Guignol kind of presentation. I do, I do have a fondness for those movies. I can't, I could never say that they were good. No, mm-hmm. but I do, I, I have found them entertaining. But yeah, you have yeah. to remember when these films were made too, and the kind of stuff that was out there at that time. Something that might have been considered shocking didn't go as graphic as. Well, he's, as he's he was also, did, yeah, oh and he was God, doing no. something that nobody else thought of do, to do or was doing. And he you know was what I mean? proud to say he did it in his garage. Right, right. In his his house. I mean, this is what, I mean, each of the And that was movies, the garage you went in, you yeah, went to. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so actually, you were walking into history when you walked into Apparently, that garage sale. <laughs> and I was looking for Debbie Does Dallas, you know? So. I think we could probably help you with that. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually not familiar with that classic no? uh, no? deep oh, throat. section of horror. And do you have the deep no. throat? Because, I mean, he's showing me all these, like, original... You know, thirty-five millimeter prints than these big canisters, and I'm like going, "Yeah, but do you have deep throat? <laughs> you know, because that is at least interesting. Ah, oh, what do you want with that? This, look at that. Look at the blood that's coming down the frame. Do you know how I did that? I put it on glass, and I let it dust. And I did not know this. Oh. And I sat there going, "But where is Linda Lovelace?" <laughs> so I see maybe a one woman, possibly two women, but they're both you. <laughs> An evening with Herschel Gordon Lewis, yeah. and you reenact your your yes. times. Wow. You know, yeah. and at the same time, you could reenact some of his movies too. Oh, that scary! Would be, that's, yeah. How about that? Yeah, wow, hot I, and scary. I, I will make a call. We'll get funding. <laughs> this is going to happen. That's a reality show. <laughs> <laughs> funding Herschel Gordon Lewis <laughs> next on Bravo. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, Jewel, as far as like, what do you think the appeal is, though, or why do you think that the like sex and horror are so popular together as a combination? Good question. <laughs> Much better than that first one you asked. <laughs> <laughs> sex and horror. Why is it really good in that? Well, I think it's it replaces National Geographic. You know, <laughs> back in the days in the sixties, I'm just sort of fudging my age there, but in the sixties, that's what you know a, a young man or a young woman would look at a National Geographic see the breasts and say oh my god this is really hot and I need to turn on the portable vibrator or uh, stroke my penis depending on what your your situation is got it and nowadays done it's like, done check you've got you know well then the 80s came along you've got Linnea Quigley dancing naked on a freaking tombstone how awesome is that I mean that was right there stroke material bingo <laughs> so yeah then it it went on to life force. Oh yes, oh. that was one of my that was one I had now on my list. Yeah. Right. Now we're talking. Matilda May. I oh I Whoa. came so close to being that part. <gasps> that right? No, really? yes. you must wow. tell us. Oh well, Tobe Hooper. Uh, you know, well yeah, I had audition for him, and I had to be naked, and I had to stand there looking really cute, and he still turned me down. And he went with that chick. <laughs> oh, but it was all political, Jill. I mean, your body is fine. 
I just had to choose somebody else. It's like, no, me, me, me. No, he didn't. But, you know, the movie sucked. The movie is quite, frankly, quite a mess, but I do, I am quite entertained by it. It's so crazy and over the top. And There's a lot I, of stuff I don't see coming. In that. I, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I would have been freaking awesome in that part. I'm sure oh, you would have. Yeah. So that was the time, the 80s was the time of, you know, the naked girl in the sci-fi sexy horror movie thing. I mean, that was the prime, that was the new National Geographic. That's where you could sit there with your VHS, your Betamax, and stroke. And you know, that's and that neon lighting did. and the 80s yeah. hair, hair and yeah. yeah. I mean, and then was... what do you get in the in the 90s? You got the say anything, John Kuzak, say anything. <laughs> you know, it's, I, I want to get blown. That's, that's what I'm telling you, man. I don't care about all that love. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, definitely the 80s was kind of an explosion of like explosion, more over, yes. the, over the top <laughs> horror. Uh. And, you know, as fil- films like Reanimator and From Beyond, sure. you know, you got into like the, the well, sex from beyond, and the oh horror. My God. From, well, no, from some weird science. Kelly LeBrock coming out. Oh, yeah. The wow. Red freaking thing. Totally. You know, that, was she like, great. She was hot. She was that. hot. She was she totally was hot. hot. And then she married Steven Seagal. What the hell, man? What crazy <laughs> drugs was she on? Well, you know, it's it amazing how something you just found out one little thing about someone's personal life and it just ruins it. Like, it I does. Just, I just see I that quit guy. I fantasizing about this woman after I found out she married Steven yeah. Seagal. Oh, you know, he had, he had a few films under his belt. You know, he had, oh. he had, he had done. He had a had done. He, yes, he had a few films and he had a few maids under his belt. Good for him. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> Looked like things were going to take off for him, you know? Yeah, yeah, and then he, and yeah now it, he's hanging out with Gorbachev. And doing a reality so. show. Yeah. That yeah. stupid reality show. He's like a... Yeah, he's a Russian now. He, he's yeah. a Russian. He's a commie. He's a commie. Uh, yeah. That's yeah. true, you know. Yeah. Now, speaking of the 80s, another one, a kind of erotic horror, would, uh, The Hunger. Remember that Ooh. with uh, Susan Sarandon, Catherine Deneuve? You know? Yeah. Very like the, the, artsy, fartsy kind of vampire scene. movie, but a very memorable... Bowie. Uh, yeah, David, David Bowie, Bowie, yeah, very memorable uh, kind of lesbian scene with between well, maybe, Catherine Deneuve and oh, Susan Sarandon. Lesbian stuff. I yeah, read look that. One yeah, of the first one. Uh, lesbian uh, relationships in a mainstream movie, whether it was horror or not, a mainstream theatrical movie with a lesbian. What about Freaky Friday? <laughs> no, 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 oh, no, 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 no. That's no, no, no. that's something no, else. Yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe you, and the uh, director, censor? the director. Uh, Blood, Tony, Blood and Tony, Roses was, was a Renoir, okay, yeah, I think. And, uh, or, and personal Best, I guess, had come out by that point. Oh, yeah. yeah so oh, Muriel yeah. Hemingway? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Awful, awful. Yeah, that was a pretty awful. bad movie, actually. That's a, yeah, that's a long Robert way to go Tom. for some <laughs> yeah, lesbian For some action. Some yeah. slight I mean, lesbian. you know, if you're going to have, like, what is your favorite lesbian combination? I want Kim Basinger on top of me. <laughs> you know? I mean, That'd Kim Basinger in her prime in that. What is that movie, Confidential? Oh, LA Confidential. Yeah. I mean, when she was in that, I'm sitting there thinking, man, I wish. I was Russell Crowe. <laughs> and then I would look at Gladiator and go, ah, man, I wish I was the tiger. <laughs> I mean, I had all these freaking fantasies, you know? Crazy shit. Well, how about, uh, more drinks. How about, uh, <laughs> how about um, Cat People? Cat Dustin People. Kinsky. I had Nastasia Kinsky. Oh. That was a pretty did erotic know, horror. What did you know? I happened to have been with a snake. Really? Oh, yeah. The famous uh, Google N- it. Natasha Kinski. Um, no, 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 no. Tell us what that you well, were. Well, I, I want your man here to go Google Sean. me. With this. Sean. Yes. Sean, <laughs> uh, go Google me with a snake. Yes. Jewel, well, Jewel I, Shepherd we, Snake. Jewel Shepherd Snake. Yes. Sadly, uh, uh, you will find many a naked photo of me. Uh, um, the Jewel, same snake. Sadly, no, because I started with the same snake. Okay. That was the same snake? snake same snake. Wow. They brought it into the freaking photo shoot so I could be naked with the snake. That was the importance of this snake. Really? It was so freaking important that they brought that same snake so I could be naked with him. So I felt like I was the first of the Kevin Bacon issues of, you know. Seven degrees to that snake. Yeah. So I got to touch Nastasia Kinski. Because I got to hold the snake and, and hold the snake. And see, your friend Sean is looking at the snake. Well, uh, that I'll be quite my breast too. But can I just tell you? Uh, <laughs> help, uh, I did actually Google that, this ahead of time. That was a big snake, eh? And yes. Uh, yeah. I am familiar with these photos, and uh, yeah, I had that. Bravo! Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and the snake really liked going around my whole body, and I really liked being wrapped up with it. It was really hot. Well, who wouldn't want to be? Really yeah, cool. but you know. then when I got when when see the problems with snakes is that yeah. when you start heating up, yeah. and I was getting really you know I was happy with the snake, yeah. and then it started getting more frisky and wanting mm. to constrict around me. The Uh-oh. more warmer I was getting, right? So then they had to give the snake a break. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> do you still see the snake? I'm just curious. <laughs> No, but I have met a few attorneys that are pigs. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, uh, cat people, though, I think is interesting because of the premise of that movie, which is pretty ridiculous, but interesting in that it's 
Natasha Kinsey is from a race of people who have to have sex with their own kind. Yes. Like Vincent Spano? To, to <laughs> <laughs> now, now, let's just be clear. <laughs> Shut up, we're Larry. Just, oh, we're, just let us be... F- we're speculating. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Because you know, uh, uh, Spano is... You know, yeah. very talented, capable. Yeah, okay. And yeah, he's, like, he's what, what do you know him? Was, uh, yeah, I do. And he was fantastic. There you go. And there you go. It's you. And, yeah. and, and we're he all happens happy. to have a child with Nastasia Kinski. There you go. So there you go. None of this is serious. That, that was a there joke. It was a joke. Yeah. We're all joking. Yeah. We're joking. A tribute to yeah. Joan Rivers and the sharpness of her tongue. And I was just paying a tribute. No, no, it was nice. Sorry, There's a lot of love in this room. Because I love you. We might say rude things about other people that you don't know either, Larry. Yeah, yeah. Because, you know, deep in my heart, I probably do love Herschel Gore. And loose. Only I just just haven't realized that yet. But in, you know, in you hundred years, before I will. The, you know, before this you, podcast is over, you will. You guys, <laughs> you and Herschel Gordon Lewis, you're you gonna guys, hang out. You guys have been fighting long enough. We we gotta we we gotta repair this. We, <laughs> yeah, we have a surprise for you behind I that tell door. You about <laughs> Phil Spector, but I, okay. Oh, I oh, oh no, 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 tell the Phil please, Spector story. Oh. Okay, back in the day, back in the day when I used to like go bowling with the Blasters. <laughs> <laughs> the band, the Blasters, the band, yeah. the Blasters, and Flea and um, Lux and Ivy, who did the soundtrack. Oh, the of, yeah, the cramps. Oh, yeah. And we would go to this place up in, um, I guess it was Glendale, Pasadena. The little wooden, the little wooden bowling alley. It has four lanes. It was oh, a. My. I've hmm. never been there. Chateau. No. I don't know. It was a little. Cl- it was like I always remembered as the little old lady who went to Pasadena, kind of thing. But I'm pretty sure it was actually in Glendale. Okay. Um, but we would go bowling there as a regular kind of thing, and you know, I don't know who the fuck Dave Alvin is. I don't know who Flea thing is. You know, I I definitely knew who Lux and Ivy were. Mm-hmm. Um, and then this guy would come creeping in, creeping, creeping, and I kid you not, creeping with his driver bodyguard and he would sit in the back and watch us bowl and you know dave avalon would say you know who that is i said no who is that you know it's phil specter okay who is that <laughs> and he goes you never heard of the wall of sound it's like no <laughs> and it's like oh you you know the ronettes or what's the ronettes yeah, ronettes? yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Ronettes. and i go no i don't know who are, who are these people well, that's phil specter who creates everybody and he would just literally not do anything but just stare at us bowl. And then I would walk over there and I would sit down with him and I'd go, Hi, who are you? And Phil Spector, Okay. <laughs> and then we would just stare at each other. <laughs> and he would say nothing. And I would say, Would you like to have me go bowl and show you again? Go do a strike. Okay. <laughs> and that was like every week we would do that, every wow. Monday. And he would just, I, I don't understand how he came to the bowling alley, but he would be there, generally speaking, 45 minutes after we were there. And he would sit there with his limo driver. The sa- I believe it's the same guy that was there that, that event. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And the same crappy, the way, and I, the way I looked at limos was he was in a 1960-something limo, a black, I mean, it was ugly, it was... It was not a limo the way I saw limos back in the 80s. Sure. I mean, it was, yeah, it was whoa. the one you rent to go to your prom. Yeah, like yeah. Thing. And here is this guy. He would sit there. And it was this whole um, way he established the whole, you know, the entrance. And, you know, this little tiny man on these platform shoes. And they looked so <laughs> forget. I mean, they were like huge, like six-inch platforms. Did he have the crazy hair then, too? Yeah, he had the crazy yeah. hair, of course. And he never said anything. But then I would show him like a bowling ball. And he would just nod and smile in a really crazy creepy sort of way he Ugh. reminded me of the freaking um who's the dead guy that comes to your grave the grim reaper the grim reaper yes <laughs> yeah. so he never asked you to come over to his house oh of course show he you did his, uh, yeah. oh okay well <laughs> this is okay and? yeah well i never went over to his house i wasn't lana clarkson yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, lana who i i knew i'm sure you knew her yeah and uh, it was it was weird. Like I'd met yeah. her maybe really? a month before that whole thing. Wow! And was and then like I saw her a week before at some audition, and to hear that and like there was this lot of speculation about you know her mental state and that she was depressed and no. I didn't get that vibe at all no. from her. No, I think he did what he was. He's creepy. He was a total of freaking grim reaper kind of creepy, and I think he just was showing the gun collection and. You know, he did what he did to everybody else. He he pulled he, the trigger only this time instead of to the wall. He pulled it to her. Yeah. 
And I'm sure even as he was doing it, he didn't really, I mean, he's creepy. Yeah, he probably, do you think like he, just speculating, like it was more of just him playing around with guns? Yeah, and, and he pulled the trigger and it just yeah. so happens instead of the wall, it was her face. <laughs> and then it was like, oh shit, and now, yeah. And right. you know, the oh shit wasn't exactly, you know, it was what, 20 minutes later before he informed his uh, chauffeur that made the phone call, right, I think. Right. I mean, I don't know. Right. Uh, I, don't, I don't remember the exact details, but yeah. it was something <clears> like that. And so, I mean, 20 minutes of, I mean, you, you see blood all over the floor in your marbled castle situation. It's like some point it must have registered with him oh my god this yeah. woman is bleeding this is real yeah, yeah, yeah. the <clears throat> wall of sound is coming down around me <laughs> but Joel, you've i mean you've been you've met a lot of really interesting people yeah. in your career yeah. i mean just some of the a few that you were mentioning right. to us so do you have like a interesting story about anyone else that's like really big um this is guy <laughs> <laughs> the best stories start with that <laughs> Yeah, I met this guy first in Ohio and then Iowa, and then I really met him in New Hampshire, Mm -hmm. and I was volunteering for this really cool chick, and Mm -hmm. it turned out this really, okay, he was a funny dude, happens to be her husband, and his name is Bill Clinton. It was really, really, yeah, and, you know, saw this whole episode in the trailer with them during uh, 2008. It was, they were a nice couple. I don't have any political versions, you know, uh, <laughs> one way or the other to them. I just thought he was a very nice guy. He did not want to come on my black dress. <laughs> um, but, you know, and she was very cool. So, uh, you know, that, yeah. So I had I had fun times with them. Mm-hmm. So you have worked with, I mean, you've dabbled with politicians as well as... Yeah, Senator Paul Simon... Yeah. Took a lot of photos of me, oh. fully clothed. <laughs> and, and Ross Perot has a bunch of photos with me. Um, yeah, but fully I just clothed. liked him fully clothed. Yeah. But I just was really interested in his wallet. So, you know, <laughs> that's what I was thinking of. But there you go. Well, how, how so the political side, though? I mean, you, you're, an, you're an actor. You're in show business. How did you get into the yeah, politics? Yeah, please. Don't <laughs> scare me. Yes. <laughs> um, how did I get into the politics? You know, they all thought I was Cindy Crawford. So they kept on... They, I could see how they could make yeah, that... You know, yeah, yeah. So they kept on so. coming up to me and go, Hi, Cindy, how are you? And it's like, mm, okay, I'll go with the flow. <laughs> you know, it's getting me into the back door. These things, they're, they're bringing me into the press room. Okay, I'm Cindy. All right. I'll, you know. <laughs> and so the, because they kept on thinking I was Cindy Crawford, then I got to be able to hang out with them. And they really, I mean, they told me everything. Wow. It was fun. It was a lot of fun. Wow. Everything? Well, everything for that day. <laughs> <laughs> I want to ask you, too, about as far as horror in films, how you were kind of talking a little bit about this earlier with us, how it's changed a lot where, like you said, you, you guys had two weeks to rehearse for, you know, before you guys were filming Return of the Living Dead. How it's just different now. Now it's, you, you don't, there's no time for that. Everything's so regimented. Everything's so fast. And well, why yeah, is it, why is it different? How has it changed? Well, I just did this movie called Slasher. We shot it in Missouri four months ago. Uh, a, I was a serial killer patriarch or this family. It was awesome for me. And it was shot by the Columbia School of Filmmaking on the red camera and the guy was an absolute incredible editor. But, I mean, the kids were all from the school. There was no rehearsal. You just showed up. You just, you know, I was this crazy serial killer bitch, which is fine with me. I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we're fine, serial killer bitch, which is okay. I can do that, too. And... um yeah, there was no rehearsal. I didn't know. I couldn't even remember the people's names. And I and I still don't know the people's names all these months later. But we shot this movie. And I believe it's going to be quite good. Because the Columbia University script girl had some really good story. And that's part of this thesis project that they have to produce. And that's how you get funding. I mean, a university is funding this movie, a horror movie about serial killers for their for their film program. How yeah, it doesn't yeah, get much more crazier than that. I mean, yeah. we're shooting it on one camera. I haven't worked with one camera in so long. <laughs> and with kids that, you know, I sat there as I'm screaming, die, bitch, die, as I'm sitting there murdering my daughter in this movie, you know, <laughs> holding her face into the water going, die, die. You know, and the, and the poor little 19-year-old boom guy is like, you know, he's stepping back. No, you're the boom's in the frame. No, and he's like, she's scaring me. <laughs> <laughs> 
And it's like I'm thinking, oh, this is really bizarre because I've never heard this before. That's yeah. funny you said about the red the red camera because it's like, yeah this this HD technology is like th- th- we've gone we've gone so far with that part of it like the great cameras, but when it comes to actually the performing and like having the time to kind of really get to I mean just you know yeah. get to know like, know characters and get to kind of like rehearse and get to, it's like everything's so assembly line now in a way right right and this you know thank God I I could relate to this character but I, I you know there was nothing I I do not remember the actors names I know that's horrible to say but I'm telling you the truth I don't know any of the names of these people here <laughs> yeah, I really don't but you know all I know is that I tried my best to make sure I was the serial killer maniac and I think I pulled it off cool well it must be great too to be in a situation where you're with these young filmmakers who actually yeah, give a shit one, one guy was really cute yeah <laughs> yeah do tell I well you know I, I I put an age limit. I don't date someone over, you know, 19, so. (laughs) God, where were you when I, okay. (laughs) So, consequently, I had a good time on this movie. Nice. (laughs) But yeah, it must be great to have people that they haven't been jaded yet. They still give a shit. They still want to make a film. Yeah, he gave a shit. (laughs) (laughs) Let's see that film. Yeah. I really like that guy. What was his position? I think he was a grip. I don't know about the film. But the trailer is fantastic. I don't know about the trailer or the film, but the grip was fantastic. What happened in the trailer? That was a different. That's well, a whole different story. No, the story. grip was amazing. Oh my god! I think he had an education, but I don't really care because you know he came to the hotel, so that's all I care. He came in the hotel. Okay, <laughs> you, don't, you don't get that kind of service these days. Yeah, no that's kidding. the one thing I, I hate about the pizza boys to do that. At least yeah. you're going to sit there and tip them. What what? That's what I hate about the studio system now. <laughs> really? you know, they don't send young men to your trailers. No, no. Oh, the so, sarks. So was that the next thing we can see? Look forward to seeing you in is yeah. in this Columbia. And what's the title of Slasher? It? Slasher. Slasher. Yeah, it's sort of like the Texas Chainsaw version of uh, only I'm the female lead of that, and and I'm this horrible, wicked person that goes around with my family killing people. And uh, one guy I decide to save, but I kill my daughter. Or people that were sort of like my daughter, or at least looked like my daughter. So, and I killed them very um, well, not too polite. But I killed him. God damn it, I killed him. Well, let's not give it all away. Yeah. Yeah. And you don't want killings to be too polite. I know. I don't no, like a polite killing in my horror them. movies. Oh. Oh, too soon. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You had a premature decapitation. Thing. Decapitation. Oh. <laughs> Drink. There he is. Oh, oh yeah. Here we go, Sean. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, man. Cheers. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. Thank oh. you. Well, I, I can't, uh, I can't not have a podcast about sex and horror without bringing up the well, I'm just a simple classic... girl who likes to cook and sew. <laughs> <laughs> but the classic kind of have sex... Oh, you cook. The have sex and die rule in slasher films is, is something that was very prevalent. In There's the a 80s rule. Too. Yes, sex there was. And die? Right. Literally. If you had sex, if you had sex in a slasher film, mm-hmm. more than likely you're going to get killed yes. very soon after. Oh, right. Oh, is that how it goes? Male or female? Right? Male or female? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Sure. It started with John that's Carpenter's a... Halloween, where that's right. You know, wow. All the all the kids thought... that had wow. sex. Then the next thing you know, Michael Myers is stabbing them, and then it or Jason or or Jason continued throughout the whole slasher genre. Over. I never thought of those movies that way. I just thought Jamie Lou Curtis. It looked really hot. <laughs> you know, that's how I thought of him when there was this big and lake did. and then somebody always died. You know, I didn't it's see true. it like that. Wow, so it's sex. Sex is the thing that kills people. Yeah, it's like their punishment. <laughs> in or... the slasher world, at least in the 80s. <sighs> and, 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 if you re- and if you recall, Jimmy the Curse did not have sex. Well, she wasn't, right. she wasn't the, the, the hot, cool chick. So the but, hot, she was the, she was but she was the virginal, cool resourceful. She was pretty resourceful hot to me, one. though. Yeah, she was. Wait, so wait, oh, yeah, wait, wait, yeah. wait. The hot, cool chicks die. The, the hot, cool kids die, whether they're chicks or boys. Yeah. Because they have sex. Yeah. So oh, what is this, like an absence kind of thing? Sort of. It's, sort of <laughs> it's a Mormon thing. Is it a Mormon thing? I think it's no, a nerd's it's revenge like, thing. Because you're not distracted by... By the going zone, you know, distra- you're not distracted by sex, so by you're your, able your to libido. pay attention to realize what's going on, oh, where so the killer could go. the big knife and the big gun theory that America likes. For, yeah. It's, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Very Freudian. Oh, yeah. A lot yeah. of Freud going like, on in this stuff. Like, not over my dead body, says Charles and Heston. Right, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're going to have to pry my cold, dead hands off my car. I mean, my gun. (laughs) And I always like chariots. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) 
one of the best uh, sexy horror films, Ben Hur. Oh. Uh, I think we can all agree. Oh, no, yeah. Are you kidding? Oh. I want to do fucking him. <laughs> Are you kidding? It, I mean, my God, him on a chariot with those freaking horses <gasps> whipping him. It was awesome. It was, so it, was it just keeps going. Hearing all this, <laughs> hearing all this, I'm putting together a screenplay in my mind. Well, I also like Roman Polanski's, you know, Rosemary's Baby. But, oh, yeah. oh. oh, favorite here, of course. That's so wait a minute. Great so one. I'm going to pitch a <laughs> satanic gladiator film oh, yeah. that involves slashers mm-hmm. and pizza guys? Yeah. No, you awesome. can't have... I would watch it. I don't know if pizza was around at that particular time. So. Well, well, it's a time travel thing. There you go. Oh, okay. not yeah. To, not to, to go back... Like in a hot tub sort of way? Not to oh, like, like you had to say hot <laughs> tub. <laughs> like time travel? <laughs> Rosemary's <laughs> Baby is actually a perfect example of sex and horror. That's uh, true. Because, yes. You know, it came That's around... True. You know, you're talking about someone who basically uh, sells his wife to sleep with Satan. So Satan can screw her and they have a, a baby. I mean, that's about as, as <sighs> that's close right. as you can get to sex and horror. That's right. Oh. That's pretty horrifying. Yeah. Or uh, a religious cult. What yeah. was that movie that, uh, was it, uh, the, the guy sells his wife to the rich guy to make a bunch uh, of money? Indecent Proposal. Indecent yeah. Proposal. Yes, yeah, it's, it's like a satanic version of that. Yeah, it's a satanic that. version of that. Classic, classic sex and horror film, <laughs> I might add. But I would love to see, I would Robert like... Robert Redford. I, and I want to see the missing scenes of Rosemary's Baby where they're doing the uh, the negotiating with Satan. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. So, what yeah. yeah, so you're going to have sex yeah. with her. So guy what, what are we talking is, about uh, here? Yeah. Yeah. So is, yeah, is Mia Farrow worth $200 yeah. to you? Yeah. He's talking with Sidney Blackmere going, okay, so what can... And how do you want her with her top on or top off? You know, panties off we talking teddies. We talking. They're sitting there pushing aside the the stringy thing. You know. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean think about the reason there. the reason why his, her husband did that is because to you get it big in your skin. That's to, why Frank Sinatra wrote that freaking song. <laughs> oh, that's right. My and that, it was, God. It was during that movie well, that he divorced her too. Right. Yeah. It was under my skin. So there you go. Wow. Well, you know, once you once you have the devil, you know, you never go back. <laughs> yeah. Sinatra. And the devil. I wish that rhymed somehow, but. Right. You know what the, the thing about that movie though that we kind of got me is I always wanted to see what did that little baby look like because we don't actually yeah, you get see his eyes right? no you don't no you don't you, you don't see, see a eyes? flashback no. of her dream yeah. seeing Satan's right. eyes Satan's no, eyes. you no, never no, see no. this the child looked like the Cabbage Patch doll in the eighties and got you got a <laughs> freaking <laughs> birth certificate no, or a garbage pail kid I, I, I that's thought a great idea I thought the Cabbage Patch kids were actually kind of cute myself uh, I, I, but I don't I you expected, are scared by all the wrong things <laughs> no I, I expected the baby to look a little bit more I wanted to marry Chucky so did you really. I thought but Chucky you know, was so hot. Oh but Chucky, God, when awesome. he started out, was it was, was kind of well, was kind of cute though. Are you <laughs> well, talking about Chucky when he was all like, yeah, yeah, he's he's all, like, possessed by the serial killer. When he's a good guy, guy. is that that's a good when you guy, like him? Like? No, I like the fact he was a doll and he could probably do it all night without. <laughs> oh, you know, yeah, that's true. Oh. Sex and horror, ladies and gentlemen, right here. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> In the Amityville <laughs> house, you know, that's what I was thinking. That's a nice crossover. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, the Chucky Amityville film. Wow. I liked all five of them. Really? They're yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, we could go on and on. <laughs> Here you go. I dare you. More. Get me some more. I think that's oh. it. I think we're done. Are you kidding? I drank all your tequila? I think so. <laughs> Oh my God! Yeah, you're will a legend. I regret, will I regret this in the morning? No, well, no, no, you're getting drive here, did you? No, uh, no I'm going to stay upstairs. Of course, oh. Oh. You're, you heard it here, Your folks. Your wife is out of town, so oh. yeah, oh. Oh it's going to be an all-night monster party. Oh. Yeah, well, we better then. I'll let you see my boobs. Oh. Okay, oh. all right, well, ladies and gentlemen, well, that's our show. <laughs> you know what? I think that my wife would give me a pass on this one. I think oh, she like an yeah. e-ticket. Like yeah, a I think she go. You know what? You've been a good husband. You've earned it. Uh, yeah, I like her. she is. She's, she can join. Yeah, she's oh. a jewel. Well, wow. yeah. Thank you so much yeah, for coming, Joel. Joel. It's been an it's absolute been pleasure. And of course, you're more than welcome to stay Absolutely. as soon as we finish yeah, you this. Can, as long as you want. Couple weeks, whatever you need. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. yeah. So we'll look for slasher. And when is that coming? Is out? Is there a release date? You know, or next no, year? No. So to our listeners, watch for slasher starring Joel Shepard, yeah. the great. Jewel Shepherd. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I am Matt Weinhold. I am Sean Sheridan. I am Larry Stroth. And I'm James Gonis. Keep America strong. Watch sexy horror movies. <laughs> mm. uh. Ha, ha, ha.
Ha, 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 ha.